Good evening, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, post-eclipse season. Yes, we are still dealing with all of those eclipse energies. How are those eclipse energies impacting you? Not to mention the uh, Mercury retrograde. Yeah, that's the thing for sure. Mercury retrograding energies. You guys still dealing with that a little bit? Of course, you are because we're still in the middle of Mercury retrograde. So anyway, hello and happy What the Fuck Wednesday. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Say hi. I see several of you here, but nobody's talking yet. So let me feel like I'm not talking to myself by actually saying hi to me. Like, like hello and don't forget to like subscribe and share if you would like to get on the free list would you like to get on the free list this is how to do it thank you for tuning in i'm live every monday from 6 to 8 p.m eastern standard time and from 8 p.m eastern standard time until we're done on wednesday and friday nights i offer free readings on every live to join the free list simply like this video subscribe or follow share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, $35 for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. So, yeah, that's how you get on the free list. And thank you for sharing, Chris. Ah, uh, and here's my Elizabeth Brown. All right. So while we've got her here, uh, Elizabeth, would you like to be around for the first? Uh, it's not the Reiki I'm going to be doing for Elspeth. But would you like to be around for the first uh, Reiki video that I'm doing for the night that I'm doing for everybody? Uh, this is a post eclipse kind of uh, meditation that I did today. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get into this and let you guys just enjoy this nice little meditation. Here we go. In the tranquil sanctuary of your chosen space, settle comfortably, closing your eyes to the external world and taking a profound, life-affirming breath. Experience the quiet. Let it seep into your senses, washing over you like a soft cascade, gently lapping at the shores of consciousness. As you breathe in deeply, feel the rush of serenity it brings with it. Allow the air to fill your lungs to the brim, carrying peace and tranquility into your being, an ethereal elixir that heals and soothes. Let it flow through your veins, a river of solace, immersing every cell, every fiber of your existence. With each breath, purify your thoughts, your emotions, and your spirit. Allow the serenity to seep into your heart, easing its rhythm and reminding it of the harmony that exists within. With every exhalation, release any remnants of tension, worry, or distress. Imagine them as fleeting wisps of smoke, dissolving into insignificance. Allow yourself to step outside of your body and into a calm space. Picture yourself resting in an ancient forest surrounded by towering trees whispering age-old secrets and stories of resilience. The forest floor is cloquet in a soft carpet of moss, and the air is filled with the sweet scent of earth and pine. Above, the sky is a canvas of twilight hues, painted with the afterglow of a recent eclipse. 
The celestial bodies gracefully dance across the firmament in a cosmic ballet of light and shadow. This celestial spectacle, a powerful symbol of transformation and renewal, has imbued the universe with a vibrant energy that infuses every star, every galaxy. This energy is ripe, waiting to guide your journey of growth, evolution, and self-discovery. As you look up at the sky, marvel at the beauty of this cosmic phenomenon. The resplendent celestial bodies, the galaxies far away, the twinkling stars, everything seems to whisper tales of resilience, of change, and of enduring grace. Now, envision that transformative energy as a radiant orb light, its luminescent tendrils reaching out to you, beckoning. With each breath, draw in the transformative energy left by the eclipse. Inhale it, absorb it, let it permeate every part of your being, filling you with a sense of warmth, power, and potential. Feel it as a warm, radiant light enveloping you, encouraging resilience, openness to change, and acceptance of the ebb and flow of life. Experience this light as a beacon, a guiding star that illuminates your path. It guides you through the labyrinth of life, illuminating the corners of your soul, stirring up the dormant potential within. This light is your compass, your mentor, your guide. It leads you, guiding your steps as you embark on the path of self-discovery and personal evolution. It encourages you to embrace change, to welcome transformation, and to look forward to the future with hope and courage. This light is a beacon of potential, guiding you to embrace the evolution of your soul with grace and courage. As the stars emerge, twinkling softly in the darkening sky, another potent force becomes palpable, the energy of Mercury retrograde. When the blanket of night begins to unfold, casting a surreal glow on everything beneath, a powerful energy infuses the atmosphere, the energy of Mercury retrograde. This energy, at times feared and often misunderstood, holds an inherent dynamism that can be harnessed for the individual's self-development and growth, a period wrapped in mystery and apprehension. Mercury retrograde is seen by many as a time of chaos and confusion, a time when technology fails, communication breakdowns, and life seems to go awry. However, those who delve deeper, who dare to challenge the conventional understanding, may unearth a treasure trove of wisdom that this period offers. The energy of Mercury retrograde is not simply a force of chaos, but rather a catalyst for contemplation and introspection. It is a cosmic invitation to turn inwards, to delve into the recesses of your consciousness, to reflect upon the path you have trodden. Mercury retrograde is a time for revisiting past actions, a chance to confront unresolved issues, a window to mend broken bridges, and an opportunity to realign with your deepest intentions. It is a period of retrospection and introspection, providing clarity and direction on your journey. Picture the energy of Mercury retrograde as a silver thread, intricately woven into the golden tapestry of the universe's energy. Just as a silversmith hammers and shapes a piece of silver into a beautiful ornament, the energy of Mercury retrograde molds and shapes your experiences, honing them into lessons of wisdom. The combination of cosmic energies during this period encourages introspection and adjustment. It is like a celestial mirror reflecting your innermost self, revealing the areas of your life that demand your attention and adjustment. Absorb this energy Feel it rejuvenate every part of your being, physical, mental, and spiritual. With each breath you draw, with each moment that passes, you become more in tune with yourself, more aligned with your essence. It strengthens your resolve, fortifies your spirit, 
and prepares you for the transformations that lie ahead. Each inhalation, each exhalation is an affirmation of your journey, a testament to your resilience and a harbinger of the growth that awaits you. Permit yourself to bask in this combined energy, absorbing its essence and allowing it to invigorate every facet of your existence. Embrace the wisdom of the universe, the lessons of the stars, the teachings of Mercury retrograde. With each inhalation, you're more empowered, aligned with your true essence and receptive to the transformations that lie ahead. Visualize this energy as a lantern, illuminating your path with clear, pristine light, casting a glow that beautifully reveals opportunities for growth and understanding. It is this light that provides clarity, unfurls the path before you, and brings into focus the myriad of possibilities that lay ahead. In the serene silence of introspection, it highlights the beauty inherent in the process of becoming, the transformative power contained within the act of pausing, and the profound wisdom that stems from thoughtful reflection. Each flicker of this spiritual lantern represents a stage in your journey, a journey filled with powerful lessons and enlightening experiences, all waiting to be discovered and explored. Subsequently, take a moment and let the gentle winds of awareness guide you back to the present moment. Feel the supportive embrace of the beneath you, grounding your essence in its nurturing energy. This earth is not just a silent observer, but a gentle companion providing solace during your voyage of self-discovery. Gradually, bring your attention back to the physical realm, starting with your extremities. Feel the slight tingling sensation as you move your fingers and toes, reestablishing the connection with your body. This reconnection is not just a physical awakening, but a conscious merging of your spiritual and physical self. With each movement, let the energy flow through you, reigniting the spark of life within. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. Let the world around you come into focus, allowing the clarity attained through introspection to color your perception. This clarity is not temporary, but a constant companion, guiding you in every aspect of your life. Carry the calm and tranquility of your inner sanctuary into your daily life, an oasis in the chaos that seeks to enhance your interactions and experiences. This calm is not just the absence of turmoil, it is the presence of serenity. It is the peace that you carry within, a peace that is both empowering and liberating. Remember, this journey you're on, supported by the unseen yet palpable energies of the universe, is unique and full of potential. There's a harmonious symphony playing within the cosmos, and you are a significant part of it. Your journey is not a predetermined path, but a living, evolving entity, every twist and turn making your story more compelling. Always remember, every step taken with intention and openness to the guidance of the universe is a step toward fulfillment and understanding no journey is without its challenges, but each challenge faced with courage and resilience brings us closer to our true self. Every action, every thought takes us one step closer to the fulfillment of our desires and the comprehension of our existence. Don't worry, I'll play that meditation again later. And Lori, whenever you're ready to talk about it, we'll be here for you. Um, yes, this is a, a special meditation that I recorded earlier today. Um, I'm probably going to put it out uh, for everybody uh, on the YouTube. Maybe, I don't know. This one might just stay in there, but uh, it might just be one that we're doing on the live only. I don't know. But I figured it's a good post-eclipse. We're going to be going through this post-eclipse energy for a little bit. And uh, it's a good post-eclipse kind of meditation, powerful thing. 
So, yes, Jasmine, you will be up on the uh, uh, readings as soon as we do them. Now, tomorrow, how many of you guys are neurodivergent or know someone who's neurodivergent? Um, I can tell you that all of you know someone who's neurodivergent, but I'm going to say... How many of you guys are neurodivergent or know someone besides me that's neurodivergent? Because you might want to tune in tomorrow to Through the Veil uh, from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at rochesterfreeradio.com. I will be talking with uh, Anne-Marie from Autism Up, and we're going to be really discussing neurodivergencies, how they impact, how, you know, what services are available out there. What is it even? How do you live with it? How do you deal with it? We're just going to be talking all things autism and neurodivergence. So, yes. And yes, post-eclipse energy is strong. Meanwhile, if you're thinking about a reading and not sure what to do, here's a little bit of uh, uh, an explanation. And Jasmine, this might help you decide what you want. If you don't already know what you want, if you do know what you want, go ahead and talk to me about it. Tell me about it here while um, I'm playing this video. Are you ready to get a tarot reading, but find yourself bewildered by all the choices available on the screen? Let's make your decision easier. If love is on your mind, our love and relationship reading, priced at $20, can shine a light on your path. Whether you're single, interested in someone, or already in a relationship, curious about a deeper insight into your life, the Full Spirit Insight Reading provides an in-depth look into a chosen topic or offers a comprehensive general reading for just $20. Explore the realms of your soul with the Akashic Records Reading or uncover your life's true purpose with the Life Purpose Reading each available for $20. Navigate through your financial journey with clarity from our finances reading or connect with your animal guides through the animal spirit reading, also $20 each. Dive deep into your psyche with the subconscious insight reading for $20, discovering the messages your subconscious self is sending and their significance. Reveal your hidden spiritual gifts with that reading or listen closely to the messages from your spirit guides with the spirit guide messages reading each priced at $20. Experience transformation and healing with a live Reiki chakra cleansing session for $20 where the collective energy benefits all viewers. Mediumship available for only $35 allows for a connection with loved ones who have crossed over more than 30 days ago, bringing messages of love and closure. For direct messages from the divine, opt for the channeled divine message service for $30, offering profound insights and guidance. Remember, a free reading requires no monetary exchange. It's witch's choice, and recipients are not allowed to ask questions. Instead, you'll receive the reading topic I've selected for the evening. To qualify, like this video, follow this channel, share this live stream, and comment shared. Curious about tonight's spell? Discover what magic we're weaving and have it cast for you, live for only $13. Questions on which reading to choose or about tonight's spell? Feel free to ask. And if you're part of the Mystical Mentorship Circle, remember, Your weekly three-card reading is waiting. Just reach out. Embark on this magical journey with me, uncovering the mysteries and insights that await. Hello, Shira. Okay, so you're not the queen of fire, Jasmine. I had another Jasmine who uh, I used to do readings for, and she pops up once in a while. So I was just wondering if that was you slash her or if it was you slash somebody new somebody else so you're 29 and you're looking for love and you want to ask if you will meet a someone specifically probably the someone and if i'm not mistaken you're asking if you're going to meet someone who is going to be like the long-term someone yeah so 
Let's take a look for you. We're going to go over to our full desk cam so you can see the whole nine yards. Oh, there's my my lid to my tea, which is empty, sadly. I'll have to fix that in a minute. I had a sip left. Thank you, Cassandra. How are you doing today, sweet pea? Are you feeling any better? I know this eclipse has really been hitting a lot of people super hard. It really has. So, yeah. You're ready to establish the long term. So you're not just looking for a one somebody. You're looking for the relationship somebody. All right. So let's see what we've got. All right. So we're going to start off here with where you're at right now, where your relate, where your love relationship is going, where your relationship is going based upon where you're at right now. Okay. Now I'm going to look here in the middle and put this here and I'm going to look here in the middle. Let me move the shadows off of it a little bit here in the middle to what's blocking you. Okay. What is blocking you from this relationship? Okay. And our next thing, you're feeling a little better. You're welcome. I'm glad you are. It makes me feel feel better, Cassandra. I know you haven't been good. What should you do to find this relationship is going to be on this side. Okay. So this is the universe's advice. Okay. And then at the very bottom, trying to fit it all up on my on on my desk here all right there we go yeah now we can fit it all right here we go and at the very bottom what is the path of love forward for you following the universe's advice so yes lots of info here okay so basically your current path right now, you're just kind of like taking things um, as they go along. Okay. You're taking things um, like the fool and the, the four of cups and then the lovers. You have this idea in your head, Jasmine, and you're just kind of like, all right, I'm going to throw it to the universe and hope it'll work out. Yeah. Hasn't really been working out for you. You're 29 and you're still looking for that long-term relationship and you're just throwing it to the universe. So what's blocking you? Okay. First of all, we have your old betrayals and um, old traumas specifically. Both of these go together. Um, are your old traumas based upon being betrayed, like uh, being cheated on or something of that nature, Jasmine? Because... I'm definitely seeing this kind of stab in the back betrayal kind of thing as part of your trauma. And then the death card tells me that there's trauma. This is, you know, stuff that you couldn't avoid. This is kind of like following you around, hounding you and treating you like a little bitch. <laughs> not going to say. Um, okay, not necessarily. But it's just it's like some of your old traumas. So when that normally comes up, there are three different ways really that uh that we end up creating a type in our life and right here i'm seeing that your type is being influenced most of all by your traumas and your, our traumas create a type for us are the social media and me, our media kind of creates a type for us and peer pressure creates a type for us so no honey it's not about your energy i'm i'm actually talking to your guides so your guides are ratting you out. And so this, when I'm talking about trauma, doesn't necessarily mean, oh, I was raped. Some people are like, okay, that's trauma. Sometimes trauma is you're not good enough. You're treated like you're not worth something in a relationship. You started giving up of your own self in a relationship. But I am seeing that that, that is a factor some of the traumas from your past either relationship traumas or otherwise are creating a barrier for you okay now the death card in there that could very much be your mom passed away whatever but i am feeling like there are changes that you couldn't avoid that have come up that have kind of uh impacted you and and kind of like 
kept you from going in the directions that you've necessarily wanted to go for your life. All right. But what I am seeing, the other thing is, is that you just, the planets haven't aligned for you. Okay. The planets just have not aligned between everything else. Like the things in your life, the things that are going on, they just haven't aligned yet because it hasn't been your time. Now, one of the things is when we're trying to find our soulmate or our special person, um, the universe tries to work it out so that we are ready and then that they are ready. Because there are times where we can be ready for the relationship, but they're not healed yet. And they're not ready for the relationship. There are times that they might be ready for the relationship, but you're not healed yet. And you're not ready for the relationship. So the universe tries to align it right now for both of you. And that's what I'm feeling with the sun is that you guys just haven't been in the right alignment to me as of yet. So your person is not somebody you know. I can give you that for sure. Okay, so what is the advice of the universe? First of all, you need to open up and be vulnerable. All right. Uh, which is basically opening yourself up to like, are you on the dating apps? Are you putting yourself in places to where you can find new people? And once you're in those new situations, hello, man. Uh, once you're in those situations, you need to open up and be vulnerable and let people see who you are and then judge how they react to that energy. The other thing is take the time once you're vulnerable to learn who that person is. Don't make a snap judgment just because this is not normally your type. I'm going to tell you right now, your person is not normally your type. I'm going to tell you that right here and now. That's an important aspect, okay? Yeah, I would do the dating apps. I'll tell you what. I met my husband, my late husband, on... Uh, um, IRC. I met my 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 man and and my future husband uh, after this one. Now that I'm with the wolf, I met him on Facebook dating. <clears throat> okay, you have to talk to a lot of duds before before you find your studs. Facebook dating is completely free, but you got to put yourself out there in a place where other interested people are actually looking for other interested people. Yeah, and that's part of what's holding you back. And so the universe is saying, get out there and communicate with other people who are interested. Lori, you're not seeing other people's comments because they're on other platforms. Look right here behind. Can you see me waving? If you look here, right here where I'm pointing, where it says Jasmine, you see how it's red? That means she's talking from YouTube. So if you look at this little corner right here where I'm at, is where you'll be able to see the chat from other platforms and other places that people are logging in from. Okay. So, and Christine, uh, yeah, Shira, I got your tip. You're on there. So don't, don't worry. I'll get you girl. All right. So the first, that's what the, the, it, it's something saying that you're needing, to put yourself out there. Now, I don't know if you are live in one of the city where they have events and adventures, but that is one of the coolest dating concepts I've ever seen. Uh, look it up, events and adventures, and see if it's in your city or near your city. But uh, that's a real life kind of thing to where they're planning, they plan different like meetups. Like let's say you're into adventuring. All right, well, great. Let's do an adventure ropes course and stuff. And things like you would do an adventure outing together. Let's say you're into hiking. They have a hiking thing. And so all the people that come there are screened singles, not divorcees, like in process of divorce. I know events and adventures force it. They check to make sure you are actually completely single. Like the divorce has gone through. You're not just separated kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, and then they say, okay, you know, this is not necessarily about dating. This is about doing activities that we are in singles, you know? So, well, that might be why the universe and why my, my guides, your guides specifically are saying to get on dating apps. I mean, you can listen to it and find a success or you cannot listen to it. And it's going to be harder to find that person. You're limiting your dating pool if you're only going to things where you're naturally interacting instead of going out to meet other interested singles, be it on. You should, though. 
Jasmine, okay? You're asking me, you're asking your guides, you're asking the divine, you're asking the universe how to find your person. And the, one of the things that they said was get online. Learn about the people and it's going to be a slow process, okay? I get that you might not want to pay for it, but I highly suggest, would you try at least doing the Facebook dating? All right, let's put it this way. To get to the Facebook dating, all you got to do is you go into your Facebook app, you go into this, this here, and where it says see more, you can go down at the very bottom, and somewhere on there is normally the dating thing. Uh, friends video, I think I took, there it is, dating. And you click on the dating thing, and it says welcome to Facebook dating, get started. Okay, I mean, you're asking me my advice. So, yeah, that's my that's my advice and that's what the universe is saying is that to find the person that they've set for you, this online dating thing is really important. Okay? So, you can say I would not and then we'll talk to you in 10 years and see what's happened, okay? I'll leave that up to you. It's your choice, but the universe says the universe says the best way to find your person is through that online dating. Now, down here is if you follow the universe's advice. Now, let me ask here. If you don't get on a dating app, what's going to happen? We have the Ace of, Pent Ace of Pentacles, which is kind of being there, setting your own kind of thing. You're asking if you'll meet someone. I get that. Going on your own, the answer is you're not going to meet that long-term person. You're going to stay in that same relationship pattern that you're in, okay? So the universe is saying, since you want to meet someone, get on the online dating, okay? So the other thing you can do is you can work on manifesting. Diana, I got your Zelly. I'll put you on the list, okay? The other thing that you can do here, uh, down below, this is if you follow the universe's advice. It looks really great if you do, but since you're not, we're going to just say here, you're not. All right, so will you meet someone if you don't follow the universe's advice? Okay, we're just going to pull up different cards. If you just keep doing what you want to do in your way, will you meet someone? And everything here is showing, getting out, doing things. Eventually, you it, eventually you'll meet someone, yes, but it's going to take quite a bit of time. Okay, what I'm seeing here between the Empress, Wheel of Fortune... Queen of Pentacles, this is the, you know, knowing who you are. You're going to go through a process of a journey for yourself. Go through some inner transformation. Oh, funny. Looks like you're eventually, believe it or not, you'll eventually follow my advice. Because you're going to get to this point and that's where it stops. And then here, the Knight of Wands, when I got to reading this point, yeah, you're eventually going to get on the dating apps. You'll be guarded. And once you do, you'll win it. But until you do you're going to stay in the same pattern that you're in. So the answer is no, unless you get outside of your comfort zone. So, I mean, you'll meet people, but the person that you're looking for, the person that the universe has for you, apparently they're not going to the same place as you are. So, all right, dear. Well, that's your call. I wish you the best of luck. Then you'll take the no. I mean, if that's if you're comfortable with that, that's fine. Some people are comfortable being single. So, I mean, there you go. You'll take the no. But right now, the answer is you're not going to find that long-term person with your current methodology. No. Sorry. I, I, I will not pull punches. I don't lie to people. I tell it the way I see it, you know? So, I hate to give you not the news you wanted to hear, but accurate nonetheless if you want to find that person get on the dating apps even if it's just a facebook dating because apparently that's where he's at uh laura yes you are on the list my dear meanwhile jasmine let's do your money spell let me take the special thing off so i can have here we go here's your money spell jasmine money money unto thee abundant wealth three times three with harm to none as it finds its way may your wealth increase every day with free will to all and harm to none as we will it is now done so mote it be all right 
So hopefully that helps and blesses you. I'm sorry it's not the answer you really wanted, Jasmine. Uh, if you want some help on when you do finally decide to navigate the dating apps, then I'll I'll be happy to give you some advice. I know it sucked when my late husband died and I had to get back into the dating world. I resisted the dating apps for a while too. Um, and then I got on it and I met several duds, but eventually I found the old wolf. And on his dating profile, it's like old school shaman. And that really got my attention. And so we started talking. And of course, my rule was I start talking to people for weeks and see if they can hold an actual conversation before I would go out on a date with them. And then on the date, I would meet them someplace, you know. Okay, well, that's fine. No worries. That's up to you. I understand when you put your foot down on something and you'll die on that hill, you know. That's what we always say when we're like, nope, that's the way it's going to be forever. I'll die on that hill. Okay, well, that's cool. If you need some help when you do decide to do it, though, let me know. I'll be here for you, okay? I'm fine, Pamela Kirsten. How are you? All right. So, Shira, you're up next. So, let's do your money spell. Shira, money, money unto thee, abundant wealth three times three. With harm to none as it finds its way. May your wealth increase every day. With free will to all and harm to none. As we will, it is now done. So mote it be. And welcome. I'm glad you're loving the vibe. Someone did the dating app on your behalf, Diana. And what happened from that? Inquiring minds already know. But I figured I could give you a chance to tell people. All right. And yes, uh, not all dating apps are equal. Some of them are just hookup. Like, like, um, oh gosh, what's that one? For, 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 I know Grinder is just a hookup, but that's mostly for gay people. Um, you had some fun. There you go. Uh, there's another one. It starts with a T. Tinder. That's it. Tinder. Tinder is a dating app for like the hookup, you know? That's, that's the one I would never touch, but things like, Facebook dating, that was free. I, I went, when I did the dating apps, I'm like, I'll do the dating apps, but I'm not paying for it. Fuck that if I'm paying for anything. So it worked out for me. So you feel that Cassie, your old friend uh, of a friend slash bully is spying on you. Is that your question? Is, is Cassie your old friend of a friend spying on you? Is that your question, Shira? Now, the question I have, Diane, did you meet your man on the dating app? And Shira, is that your question? Uh, is Kat, your old friend Cassie? Yeah, is, okay. Okay. All right, so let's see. Is she spying on you? Let's see what we've got. Uh, I am definitely getting some major no vibes, okay? Um, basically, she's not necessarily spying on you in the way that you're asking. This person is, however, talking bad about you behind your back and is assimilating any information that she gets like in passing okay but i am definitely seeing that there is some definite negative juju here sorry just trying to keep my hair from poking out the bottom of my headband um i definitely sense some negative juju here that she is not got good vibes for you she will eventually move on but meanwhile she's just she's a narcissist and you're her current let's pick on you kind of thing uh, eventually, this bully will go away. I th I'm pretty sure this bully is going to go away. Because if you gray rock it to where you're less interesting, then she'll move on. But she's not specifically like stalking you slash finding after you. And yeah, Tinder's the horrible one. Tinder's the bad one, Diana. You're right. That's the bad one. But is she, is she like, like, obsessing over you no 
is she talking about you behind your back and, you know, using you as her proverbial punching bag? Yeah. So. Ah, gotcha, Shira. That makes sense. That makes sense then. Okay. All right, Miss Diana, you're up next. Shira, did you like, subscribe, and share also? And Jasmine, I forgot to ask if you like, subscribed, and shared also for your free reading today. And the free reading that we are doing for everybody is what is the lingering eclipse energy in your life? What is the lingering eclipse energy? And we're using the Akashic deck tonight to answer that question, just so you know. So... The end games had an excellent point. The only way to win is not to play the game. Yes. Very true, John. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Jonathan. Jasmine, did you like, subscribe, and share for your free reading? And uh, Shira, did you like, subscribe, and share also for your free reading? Meanwhile, Diana, let me know what you want your reading on. While we're waiting for that, I'll do your money spell here, Diana. So, Diana, for you, money, money, unto thee, abundant wealth, three times three. With harm to none as it finds its way, may your wealth increase every day. With free will to all and harm to none, as we will, it is now done. So mode it get be. Exactly, don't feed the trolls. All right, so Shira, for you, your lingering eclipse energy is this desire to be grounded. Okay, so the the this whole thing right now is uh, the lingering eclipse energy is trying to bring you to a sense of coming down to the earth, coming down from the clouds and getting grounded. So the eclipse is trying to bring you to a grounding point. That's the lingering energy for you, eclipse wise. No kidding, Jonathan. All right, so Diana, you're up, my dear. Chris, you're going to be after that. And Lori San Maurice, you're going to be up after that. Jonathan, I don't have you down on the free list. Did you like, subscribe, and share already, sweetheart? Excuse me. Burpee, burpee. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you guys want to get on the free list. Thank you for tuning in. I'm live every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until we're done on Wednesday and Friday nights. I offer free readings on every live. To join the free list, simply like this video, subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, $35 for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. Absolutely, Lori, putting you down for your mentorship for this week. Absolutely. Um, yeah, gave you a reason to be more present, Jonathan, for sure. Um, okay, so to answer your question here, Diana, 
I do see that she's going to start off with a little bit of like, let's get along and let's do this together because she doesn't want to have to pay for a lawyer. But then she's going to start some difficulties. She's going to start some drama. So I am seeing that the best option is going to have like a, not necessarily a lawyer, but a professional mediator, a neutral party mediating that will be the one that does the divorce kind of thing not actually going with the judge kind of thing but going with a professional mediator that'll help make sure it's more amicable if he does that i'm not seeing enough need for a lawyer i do see that she will start drama though she's gonna start off fine then she's gonna get a little hot under the collar start some drama then it's going to be like, okay, we got to we got to get a, a impartial person in here to mediate this for us and do the the like the impartial mediation thing is what I'm seeing is the best option. Hi, May. Uh, that's going to be the best option for your dad, because while stepmom is going to seem like it's fine at first, she will start. The, she will bring the drama. The drama is coming. There's no avoiding the drama. The drama is coming. So the most ideal and the cheapest way to go about it and the best way for him to get through an, uh, the divorce as amicable as possible is by going to impartial mediation. All right. So I hope that helps and blesses you. Did you like, subscribe, and share also, Diana? Hello, May. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want to get your free reading for tonight. I'm just going to assume you did. Um... I see that it will be fair, not necessarily even, but fair if he goes to a mediator, okay? But not so much if he lets her get away with the drama and if he has to go with the lawyer, it's gonna cost him more than he's gonna be willing to pay, to be honest with you. So the impartial mediator is the best way. All right, so, and may I will put you down on the free list, my dear, absolutely. Welcome, welcome, glad to have you with us. All right, so Diana, the 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 free reading tonight is what is what is the residual eclipse energy bringing you? So right now, this residual eclipse energy is bringing you options. Okay, you have a choice of how you want to go forward at this point. You have a you have you have a choice on whether or not you want to claim those energies of change and embrace change, or if you want to instead grab onto the grounding energies of the upcoming Taurus season and find stability where you're at right now. Now, if I know you well enough, I think you're going to embrace change, but I am being told to give you all the options, okay? Because the universe wants you to have all the options, right? So all the options are for you do you embrace the change? Okay. Do you hold on to the change? Or do you find a way to ground and find stability in your current, like, affectation, where you're at right now? You see, I thought you would, but I've been, I was told to make sure that you did have an option to find stability rather than change. So what you got to do is sit down and meditate on your choice. Let the universe know your choice. And then the universe will honor that. My hair is driving me nuts today, even with my headband. So I figured I would braid it back here so it would stay out of my face. Now I'm happy. All right. You ever get that? I get that way sometimes. That's my neurodivergent ass. All right. That's when I'm like, get that, dead, 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 hair out of my face. Meh. All right, how many of you guys have been seeing the autism awareness and acceptance reels lately? Any of you guys been watching those? Just kind of curious. All right, so right now we are at the end of our priority list. Um, and I wasn't planning on doing this meditation. You get that way too? I wasn't planning on doing this meditation until much later. All right. In fact, I'm just going to turn around. You love the reels. Good. I'm glad. I just spent, I've got all the way through April 20th done. So I'm kind of proud of myself for doing it all the way through April 20th. I am just tying my hair literally in a knot back here. See, taking it, tying it back, putting it in a knot and getting it the F out of my way. 
There we go. That works better for me. Yay! All right. Um, that being said, uh, I had promised to, I wanted to do this meditation, but I started off a little bit earlier because I knew Elizabeth and Elspeth are, you know, tripping to Indy right now for health reasons for Elspeth. Uh, you guys know her as Faye. Um, so I wanted to do it earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again now. So we're going to do a little bit of a meditation for this post eclipse and mercury retrograde energy so here we go find yourself a comfortable spot chill out relax kick your shoes off are you ready in the tranquil sanctuary of your chosen space settle comfortably closing your eyes to the external world and taking a profound life-affirming breath Experience the quiet. Let it seep into your senses, washing over you like a soft cascade, gently lapping at the shores of consciousness. As you breathe in deeply, feel the rush of serenity it brings with it. Allow the air to fill your lungs to the brim, carrying peace and tranquility into your being, an ethereal elixir that heals and soothes. Let it flow through your veins a river of solace, immersing every cell, every fiber of your existence. With each breath, purify your thoughts, your emotions, and your spirit. Allow the serenity to seep into your heart, easing its rhythm and reminding it of the harmony that exists within. With every exhalation, release any remnants of tension, worry, or distress. Imagine them as fleeting wisps of smoke, dissolving into insignificance. Allow yourself to step outside of your body and into a calm space. Picture yourself resting in an ancient forest, surrounded by towering trees, whispering age-old secrets and stories of resilience. The forest floor is cloquet in a soft carpet of moss, and the air is filled with the sweet scent of earth and pine. Above, the sky is a canvas of twilight hues, painted with the afterglow of a recent eclipse. The celestial bodies gracefully dance across the firmament in a cosmic ballet of light and shadow. This celestial spectacle, a powerful symbol of transformation and renewal, has imbued the universe with a vibrant energy that infuses every star, every galaxy. This energy is ripe waiting to guide your journey of growth, evolution, and self-discovery. As you look up at the sky, marvel at the beauty of this cosmic phenomenon. The resplendent celestial bodies, the galaxies far away, the twinkling stars, everything seems to whisper tales of resilience, of change, and of enduring grace. Now, envision that transformative energy as a radiant orb light its luminescent tendrils reaching out to you, beckoning. With each breath, draw in the transformative energy left by the eclipse. Inhale it, absorb it, let it permeate every part of your being, filling you with a sense of warmth, power, and potential. Feel it as a warm, radiant light enveloping you, encouraging resilience, openness to change, and acceptance of the ebb and flow of life. Experience this light as a beacon, a guiding star that illuminates your path. It guides you through the labyrinth of life, illuminating the corners of your soul, stirring up the dormant potential within. This light is your compass, your mentor, your guide. It leads you, guiding your steps as you embark on the path of self-discovery and personal evolution. It encourages you to embrace change, to welcome transformation, and to look forward to the future with hope and courage. This light is a beacon of potential, guiding you to embrace the evolution of your soul with grace and courage. As the stars emerge, twinkling softly in the darkening sky, another potent force becomes palpable, the energy of Mercury retrograde. When the blanket of night begins to unfold, Casting a surreal glow on everything beneath, 
A powerful energy infuses the atmosphere, the energy of Mercury retrograde. This energy, at times feared and often misunderstood, holds an inherent dynamism that can be harnessed for the individual's self-development and growth. A period wrapped in mystery and apprehension. Mercury retrograde is seen by many as a time of chaos and confusion, a time when technology fails, communication breakdowns, and life seems to go awry. However, those who delve deeper, who dare to challenge the conventional understanding, may unearth a treasure trove of wisdom that this period offers. The energy of Mercury retrograde is not simply a force of chaos, but rather a catalyst for contemplation and introspection. It is a cosmic invitation to turn inwards, to delve into the recesses of your consciousness, to reflect upon the path you have trodden. Mercury retrograde is a time for revisiting past actions, a chance to confront unresolved issues, a window to mend broken bridges, and an opportunity to realign with your deepest intentions. It is a period of retrospection and introspection, providing clarity and direction on your journey. Picture the energy of Mercury retrograde as a silver thread, intricately woven into the golden tapestry of the universe's energy. Just as a silversmith hammers and shapes a piece of silver into a beautiful ornament, the energy of Mercury retrograde molds and shapes your experiences, honing them into lessons of wisdom. The combination of cosmic energies during this period encourages introspection and adjustment. It is like a celestial mirror reflecting your innermost self, revealing the areas of your life that demand your attention and adjustment. Absorb this energy Feel it rejuvenate every part of your being, physical, mental, and spiritual. With each breath you draw, with each moment that passes, you become more in tune with yourself, more aligned with your essence. It strengthens your resolve, fortifies your spirit, and prepares you for the transformations that lie ahead. Each inhalation, each exhalation, is an affirmation of your journey, a testament to your resilience, and a harbinger of the growth that awaits you. Permit yourself to bask in this combined energy, absorbing its essence, and allowing it to invigorate every facet of your existence. Embrace the wisdom of the universe, the lessons of the stars, the teachings of Mercury retrograde. With each inhalation, you're more empowered, aligned with your true essence, and receptive to the transformations that lie ahead. Visualize this energy as a lantern, illuminating your path with clear, pristine light, casting a glow that beautifully reveals opportunities for growth and understanding. It is this light that provides clarity, unfurls the path before you, and brings into focus the myriad of possibilities that lay ahead. In the serene silence of introspection, it highlights the beauty inherent in the process of becoming, the transformative power contained within the act of pausing, and the profound wisdom that stems from thoughtful reflection. Each flicker of this spiritual lantern represents a stage in your journey, a journey filled with powerful lessons and enlightening experiences, all waiting to be discovered and explored. Subsequently, Take a moment and let the gentle winds of awareness guide you back to the present moment. Feel the supportive embrace of the beneath you, grounding your essence in its nurturing energy. This earth is not just a silent observer, but a gentle companion, providing solace during your voyage of self-discovery. Gradually, bring your attention back to the physical realm, starting with your extremities. Feel the slight tingling sensation as you move your fingers and toes, re-establishing the connection with your body. This reconnection is not just a physical awakening, but a conscious merging of your spiritual and physical self. 
With each movement, let the energy flow through you, reigniting the spark of life within. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. Let the world around you come into focus, allowing the clarity attained through introspection to color your perception. This clarity is not temporary, but a constant companion, guiding you in every aspect of your life. Carry the calm and tranquility of your inner sanctuary into your daily life, an oasis in the chaos that seeks to enhance your interactions and experiences. This calm is not just the absence of turmoil, it is the presence of serenity. It is the peace that you carry within, a peace that is both empowering and liberating. Remember, this journey you're on, supported by the unseen yet palpable energies of the universe, is unique and full of potential. There's a harmonious symphony playing within the cosmos, and you are a significant part of it. Your journey is not a predetermined path, but a living, evolving entity, every twist and turn making your story more compelling. Always remember, every step taken with intention and openness to the guidance of the universe is a step toward fulfillment and understanding. No journey is without its challenges, but each challenge faced with courage and resilience brings us closer to our true self. Every action, every thought, takes us one step closer to the fulfillment of our desires and the comprehension of our existence. So yes, the free readings are tonight. What is the residual eclipse energy bringing you? Uh, but uh, if you'd like to ask a question, you can literally tip any amount that you want. Of course, the more you tip, the, the bigger the reading is kind of thing. Or you can donate for one of the specialty readings over on the right-hand side, Misty. And uh, here's a little bit of information about the reading choices. And I am doing okay, Shira. I don't, I didn't see uh, the message where you asked me how I was, but thank you. I appreciate you asking. Here's a little bit about the reading choices that are available for the uh, free the, the 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 specialty readings as well as the free reading. Are you ready to get a tarot reading, but find yourself bewildered by all the choices available on the screen? Let's make your decision easier. If love is on your mind, our love and relationship reading, priced at $20, can shine a light on your path. Whether you're single, interested in someone, or already in a relationship, curious about a deeper insight into your life, the Full Spirit Insight Reading provides an in-depth look into a chosen topic or offers a comprehensive general reading for just $20. Explore the realms of your soul with the Akashic Records reading, or uncover your life's true purpose with the Life Purpose reading, each available for $20. Navigate through your financial journey with clarity from our finances reading, or connect with your animal guides through the Animal Spirit reading, also $20 each. Dive deep into your psyche with the subconscious insight, reading for $20, discovering the messages your subconscious self is sending and their significance. Reveal your hidden spiritual gifts with that reading or listen closely to the messages from your spirit guides. With the spirit guide messages reading, each priced at $20, experience transformation and healing with a live Reiki chakra cleansing session for $20, where the collective energy benefits all viewers. Mediumship, available for only $35, allows for a connection with loved ones who have crossed over more than 30 days ago, bringing messages of love and closure. For direct messages from the divine, opt for the channeled divine message service for $30, offering profound insights and guidance. Remember, a free reading requires no monetary exchange. It's witch's choice, and recipients are not allowed to ask questions. Instead, you'll receive the reading topic I've selected for the evening. To qualify, like this video, follow this channel, share this live stream, and comment shared. 
curious about tonight's spell? Discover what magic we're weaving and have it cast for you, live for only $13. Questions on which reading to choose or about tonight's spell? Feel free to ask. And if you're part of the Mystical Mentorship Circle, remember, your weekly three-card reading is waiting. Just reach out. Embark on this magical journey with me, uncovering the mysteries and insights that await. So yeah, hopefully that helps and blesses you. And thank you very much, Shira. That's very kind of you. All right, Chris Cole. And guys, don't forget to tune in tomorrow to Through the Veil, WRFZ, 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, rochesterfreeradio.com forward slash listen. I will be uh, with Anne-Marie and we will be discussing all things autism. So, and she's part of Autism Up uh, here locally in Rochester and does services for, and she said that their oldest uh, adult person that is coming to the center every day is like in their late 50s. So, you know, this is literally for all ages. Everybody thinks of autism for just kids, but, you know, kids grow up kids grow up and become older and still need love and still need care and still need like you know accommodations and acceptance and awareness this is all about autism acceptance uh, autism awareness month i like to view it for autism acceptance because people are aware that autism exists but a lot of people treat it like well this is something we need to cure okay and personally, I don't feel like I need cured. I feel like I need accommodations and understanding, but I like who I am. I like how I am. I'm neurodivergent and proud. I like that my neurodivergencies allow me to do things that other people find extraordinarily difficult. Other people aren't as good at because they have to, you know, focus in on one thing at a time or are not used to so much information. I can take in a ton of information and process it at a crazy rate. And I can see patterns without even telling you specifically or without even really knowing what caused me to see the patterns. I just take all the information in, my brain processes it and goes, oh, pattern, here's a pattern. And that allows me a lot more insight into things. I honestly think that my neurodivergency is where my psychic ability comes from that my brain is awake and open in ways that other people's isn't aren't necessarily you know what i mean so i find i find that uh, it's a help in my life if somebody walked up to me and said okay shia here is the magical cure for your neurodivergency take this pill i would be like uh is there another pill because in the matrix, there were two pills. There was a pill where you kind of go back into the matrix, which is what you're offering me. And then there's the pill to where you can disconnect from the matrix and find your own way. And that's the one I want. I don't want your matrix pill of going back and, and being a normie. I don't want to be a normie. I've never been a normie. I wouldn't know what to do as a normie, to be honest with you. I would not have a fucking clue. I enjoy who I am. Is it frustrating at times? Sure. Does it cause me difficulties at times? Sure, don't ask me to go into a fucking Walmart. You know, I'm not going in the Walmart. I'm not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. I used to go at three in the morning. Uh, now they don't really stay open at three in the morning. But, you know, I used to go in the middle of the night, even when I was working and had to get up to go to work the next day, or I just put it off until a night, like on the weekend, and go at like two, three in the morning when there was nobody there. So I wouldn't have to deal with all the crazy energies from the Walmart. Part of that's because I'm psychic. Part of that's because neurodivergency. What can I say? You know, it is what it is, right? All right. My hair is just frustrating the living fuck out of me today. So we're just going to do this. And now I'm going to get out a clippy. This clippy. There we go. That's better. Now this is sticking up funny. There we go. That's better. All right. Uh, Chris Cole, are you still with us? Lori St. Maurice, also let me know what you would like your reading on for your mentorship uh, for this week. Lori St. Maurice, are you here? Chris Cole, are you here? Becca Crosby, are you here? Lori St. Maurice, you get to ask a question for your mentorship reading this week. So what would you like to know? 
Uh, Lori, you just get to ask a question. It's a three card reading. Your mentorship reading is a three card reading every week. And you can just ask whatever you want to know. Just ask a question. Hello, Mercedes. How are you? Is, is the baby here? Tell me all about. How have you been? How's life? All right, I'm not seeing Chris Cole. Last call for Chris Cole. Oh, Lori, that question breaks my heart. Oh my gosh, your question breaks my heart. Am I ever going to be important in my family? Well, tell me all about baby Mercedes. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, so what I'm seeing is that you need to be ultimately an indep ultimately independent and work on your own goals because others are not going to celebrate you. You're going to need to find a way to celebrate yourself, sweetheart. And that breaks my heart for you. It really does. I hate that for you. It, you know, to, to not be able to be relevant and treat it as as you matter in your own family is really shitty and my adoptive family is very much that way as a matter of fact i can't get any one of them to even tell me if my adopted dad is still fucking alive okay i will not try to contact him directly because he is an abuser uh he was highly abusive physically mentally emotionally sexually okay abusive uh, as I was growing up. All right. And uh, when I it was a narcissist. And when I finally broke from him. Uh, you know. He managed to convince. As a narcissist. He managed to convince the rest of the family. That I'm the problem. And of course it helps. That I am a witch. And when I broke from him completely. I decided. You know what. I'm done being in the fucking broom closet. And the rest of my family. Is. Or my adopted family. Are a, a fundamentalist. Christian types. So that helps them to see me as the great, evil, horrible witch. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but they will never see me. I mean, I was already the outsider, even though I was both my grandmother's favorites. And that's part of what... Yes, country, it is still open. Um, but that's part of what created some of the problem. Is that because of who I am, because of how I am... I was my grandparents, my grandmother's favorites. I, both my grandfathers died when I was before I was born, but I was the, my favorite for both of my grandmothers, and that created some resentments with the rest of my adopted family. You know, because here I am, the adopted one, that somehow the favorite and the natural born ones aren't. You know, so yeah, I've had to go through that not being valid or relevant to my family so i i feel for you lori but i'll tell you what i've made my own family okay so here's a big shout out to my family okay and listing them here the wolf the old wolf francis capel my chosen mate my life mate my future husband okay my stepson will my bonus stepson corey all right. My best friends, Jessica. Okay. Jessica Granados, if you're walk watching, she's my sister. All right. Uh, my my local family here, Diane and Otivia and Ed and Brian and Danny and all the people from Sunday Fun Day. Okay. My sisters from other misters, Elizabeth and Elspeth. Okay. Who are running around in Indy. Then I have my adopted actual family that found me which i'm close to now which is my my birth sisters that i didn't meet until i was in my 30s okay christy and sherry love you both my mom my adopted my 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 birth mom who is is there and supports me 100 percent. that's where i found my relevance in the people that i chose and in the people that i've developed connections with I did not grow up with my birth family, but I'm glad to have them in my life. And I'm glad that they've turned into real family for me. But even without them, I have good family connections that friends that have turned into family, truly. 
And that's a beautiful and a wonderful thing. So Lori, you know, I can tell you you're in good company because even Jesus, and let's take, let's take Jesus, let's take the Bible for example, all right? Jesus goes back to his hometown. Now here he is, this miracle worker, this divine light worker who is talking about peace on earth finding a way to find happiness and peace even under a roman regime and under he hated the pharisees and the sadducees the religious right of the day you know under under an oppressive religious right under an oppressive government he said you know what we can find peace we can find happiness we can find the kingdom of heaven here and now in our hearts and he's going around and he's preaching this and he goes to his hometown after he started his ministry and he picks up a Bible at the synagogue and starts, well, at the Torah, and starts reading and says, hey, here's all of these prophecies. And guess what? I'm here to fulfill these prophecies and show you that the kingdom of heaven is here and now in you. And everybody went, oh, the fuck you say? Fuck you. Fuck you. Get the fuck out. In fact, you know what? It's not good enough to say fuck you. I'm going to pick up a rock and I'm going to throw it at you and we're going to try to stone you. And they literally, his hometown that he grew up in, his friends, his family, the people who knew him from Rock by Baby, or actually from the time he got back from Egypt um, forward, literally tried to kill him by throwing rocks out of at him until it made him run out of his own hometown. All right. And so even Jesus had a problem. And he said specifically, the people who've known you will value you sometimes the least. Okay, so Lori, I hate this for you, but yeah, I mean, we're getting into a little bit of trauma. How, who else has issues with their family? You know, those who he least expected them from. Exactly, country love. Absolutely. And that's how it is, is that the people that we think sometimes should be there, would be there for us. They're the ones who aren't going to see us for who we really are and who we've really become. So... No, your family's not going to find you important, but you need to find you important. And you need to surround yourself with people that will value you, that will lift you up, that will be a part of a happy thing for you, that will give you good energy, and that you can give good energy to. Create your own family, people. It's possible. But family dinners every Sunday, every Sunday with my chosen family that I met a year ago and they are family. Yes, and they will hurt you the most. Absolutely court country. Absolutely country love, 100%. It's the reality of things, you know, and we deal with those traumas and it's difficult and I get it, it sucks. You know, it definitely sucks, but we dust off the shoes. We, do, we shake the dust from our shoes, which is the advice that Jesus gave to his followers. He's like, you know, when people, when you go into your own hometown, they're not going to appreciate you. So you know what? You walk away and you just shake that dust off of your shoes. You know what I mean? I get it, Lori. I get it. And you know, you're in the mentorship circle. Have you been doing any of the shadow work uh, prompts? and going through the shadow work videos because that will help you get through to the other side of some of this. So Lori, let's see what the eclipse energy, residual eclipse energy is bringing you. For you, we have a kind of finding your, your, the eclipse is bringing you a chance to set your own starting ground, to set your own foundational point for yourself rather than kind of like, okay, this is who you have to be. This is how you have to be. The eclipse is giving you a chance to say, who do you want to be, Lori? Who do you want to be? Set that as your starting point and ground yourself from that point forward, okay? So, Becca, Becca, are you still with us? Becca Crosby. Meanwhile, like, subscribe, and share if you guys want to be on the free list. Uh, this is how to get on the free list. Unless you've heard me say you're on the free list by telling me you've said shared, then you're not going to get on the free list. But this is how to get on that free list. Meanwhile, Becca, Cassandra, Meh, and May, let me know if you guys are here. Thank you for tuning in. I'm live every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until we're done on Wednesday and Friday nights. I offer free readings on every live. To join the free list, simply like this video, 
subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, $35 for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity, and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. So, yeah. Hopefully that, that helps understand, helps you understand what you need to do to get on the free list. Hello, Jarek. Country, adding you to the free list. All right, Becca, Cassandra, Meh, and May Hooper. Which ones are you here? Hey, Jarek, how you been? Hi, Jesse. Welcome. Like, subscribe, and share to get on the free list, guys. So, Becca, Cassandra, Meh, and May. Which ones of you guys are here? It's a quiet night tonight. Cassandra, you're here. Okay, great. Cassandra, let's see what energies the eclipse has, uh, residual energies the eclipse has for you. So for you, you've got some internal conflict that you're dealing with. But here's what you need to recognize, Cassandra. The good and the bad are both you. The light and the dark are both you. Find a way to integrate both both the positive and the negatives of yourself, the light and the dark. Okay, recognize that all of these things make you who you are. All of these things are important to you. Atmosphere vitality has your migraines acting up. Ah, storms. I'm so sorry to hear that, Jarek. But Cassandra, this is a chance for you to integrate both sides and realize, you know what? All of this is me and all of this is good. I can be a raging bitch when I need to be, and I can be the most kindest, lovingest, love and light you ever did see. All right. Recognize that both of them are you, and you can accept both of these aspects of yourself. All right. It's good. Meh and May Hooper, which are you guys here? Meh and May Hooper. Meanwhile, uh, I've the only other person I have on my priority list or my free list is Country Love. Okay, Meh is here, so I see Meh. Let's see Meh. What energy do is the universe bringing you uh, from this eclipse? Looks like you're dealing with old emotional baggage. Okay, you have some old emotions that are resurfacing, and the universe with this. And between this and Mercury retrograde, because Mercury, we all know Mercury retrograde likes to throw its own hat in the ring, so to speak. Okay. Uh, Jesse, you got to say shared. It doesn't, I don't, I'm looking at things differently. So if you share, like, subs, just if you've liked, subscribed, and shared, just say shared and I put you on the list. So, because I'm using Restream to get my chats and I'm using OBS to broadcast out to everywhere. So, yeah, you got to tell me, you got to say the word shared. But, Jesse, if you've liked, subscribed, and shared, I'll put you, okay, I got you, and you liked and subscribed as well, I'll put you on the free list. You got it. All right, so, basically, what I'm seeing here for you, Matt, is that you need to kind of, with the emotional kind of baggage, the old emotional stuff that the, the, eclipse and mercury retrograde is bringing to you you need to take the time to process those old emotions feel your feelings process them through so that you can release them because only in releasing these things letting go of these things are you going to free up your hands to be able to pick up future blessings okay michael adding you to the free list absolutely all right country love may hooper last call for you may hooper are you still with us 
Country love, let's see what energy the eclipse, the, the residual energy the eclipse has for you. You're welcome, man. All right, so this is definitely, I'm feeling like country love, this is a time that the universe, your guides are really, I hate to say preaching at you, but they're preaching at you, okay? Your guides have a lot to say, and they're using this eclipse energy to bring out about transformation, change, and downloads, new knowledge, new knowledge. So you're going to be picking up opportunities to learn new things, embrace this new knowledge, and get these downloads from your guides. So be looking around. Hello, Fancy Nancy. Welcome back. Like, subscribe, and share to get on the free list again. Fancy Nancy, for the free list, you don't get to ask a question. If you would like to ask a question, you can donate using the pinned comment, and then I will uh, uh, be able to read on that for you. But the answer I'm getting is no. I just got a no from the universe. So I'm just going to throw that out there for you. No. Jarek, putting you on the free list. Thank you, my dear. So country, country love for you. Look for downloads. Look for a lot of information from your guides. All right. Look for a lot of like serendipity moments where somehow you're being pushed to go in a particular direction. Watch for that. Okay. So your guides have a lot to share with you right now. All right. Jesse, you already like subscribed and shared. So I've got you on the free list and you are coming up next. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got for you, Jesse. You're welcome, Courtney. Hopefully that helps and blesses you. The residual eclipse energy is leaving you all kinds of fired up. All right, I'm seeing a, a massive influx of creative energy and just energy in general, Jesse. So strike while the iron's hot. As long as you have this residual fire creation transformation energy, do something with it. Use it and cook with it, transform whatever it takes. But now is the time to transform. Now is transformers. Yes, transformers more than meets the eye. All right. So hopefully that helps and blesses you. Michael. Fancy Nancy, you can be added if you like, subscribe, and share. Now, uh, Michael, for you, this, this eclipse residual energy is bringing you a chance to be able to, for, for whatever reason, you're going to be able to dive into the underworld to say goodbye to your fiance. So if you meditate on this, and you'll be able to get that across the 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 veil kind of style connection with your fiance so i would sit down meditate and and kind of talk to her and say goodbye and i believe you will hear back from her i definitely believe that you will hear back from her or you will at least feel her energy but it's bringing you this opportunity to say your farewells to her across the veil it's positive in its own way. I mean, it's difficult, but it helps. From one widow to a widower, it helps. Okay? I agree. get it. Technically, you're not a widower, but you are. Okay? Jarek, let's see what we have for you. Has anybody else liked, subscribed, and shared and not gotten their free reading? Say so now. Jarek, the residual energy that the eclipse is leaving you is this chance to be better balanced. To be better balanced between your physical and your mundane side. Heaven and earth here. To find a way to balance your spirituality with your day-to-day -day mundane shit. All right? So you actually need to be able to use this energy to balance out and bring your spirituality into your muggle life and bring your muggle life into your spirituality. Okay? Let the two kind of play this game of osmosis where they blend a little bit. Okay? Because it'll be a beautiful and wonderful thing. Will you be together again? Uh, if you're soulmates, then, or even uh, twin flames, most likely. But that's something we can read about on a future time if you wanted to uh, get a, a question reading, question based reading. So, meanwhile, uh, we're going to, I'm going to tell you guys how to get on the free list if you haven't been already. And then we're going to do, do our meditation one more time. Thank you for tuning in. I'm live every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 
until we're done on Wednesday and Friday nights. I offer free readings on every live. To join the free list, simply like this video, subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, $35 for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity, and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. Oh my gosh, Leah, I haven't talked to you in like forever. It's been what, hours? <laughs> um, yay, you made it. I'm glad you made it. That's wonderful because we are about to go into our final meditation for the evening. All right, so sit back, relax, and join in the meditation. In the tranquil sanctuary of your chosen space, settle comfortably, closing your eyes to the external world and taking a profound, life-affirming breath. Experience the quiet. Let it seep into your senses, washing over you like a soft cascade, gently lapping at the shores of consciousness. As you breathe in deeply, feel the rush of serenity it brings with it. Allow the air to fill your lungs to the brim, carrying peace and tranquility into your being, an ethereal elixir that heals and soothes. Let it flow through your veins a river of solace, immersing every cell, every fiber of your existence. With each breath, purify your thoughts, your emotions, and your spirit. Allow the serenity to seep into your heart, easing its rhythm and reminding it of the harmony that exists within. With every exhalation, release any remnants of tension, worry, or distress. Imagine them as fleeting wisps of smoke, dissolving into insignificance. Allow yourself to step outside of your body and into a calm space. Picture yourself resting in an ancient forest, surrounded by towering trees, whispering age-old secrets and stories of resilience. The forest floor is cloquet in a soft carpet of moss, and the air is filled with the sweet scent of earth and pine. Above, the sky is a canvas of twilight hues, painted with the afterglow of a recent eclipse. The celestial bodies gracefully dance across the firmament in a cosmic ballet of light and shadow. This celestial spectacle, a powerful symbol of transformation and renewal, has imbued the universe with a vibrant energy that infuses every star, every galaxy. This energy is ripe waiting to guide your journey of growth, evolution, and self-discovery. As you look up at the sky, marvel at the beauty of this cosmic phenomenon. The resplendent celestial bodies, the galaxies far away, the twinkling stars, everything seems to whisper tales of resilience, of change, and of enduring grace. Now, envision that transformative energy as a radiant orb light its luminescent tendrils reaching out to you, beckoning. With each breath, draw in the transformative energy left by the eclipse. Inhale it, absorb it, let it permeate every part of your being, filling you with a sense of warmth, power, and potential. Feel it as a warm, radiant light enveloping you, encouraging resilience, openness to change, and acceptance of the ebb and flow of life. Experience this light as a beacon, a guiding star that illuminates your path. It guides you through the labyrinth of life, illuminating the corners of your soul, stirring up the dormant potential within. This light is your compass, your mentor, your guide. It leads you, 
guiding your steps as you embark on the path of self-discovery and personal evolution. It encourages you to embrace change, to welcome transformation, and to look forward to the future with hope and courage. This light is a beacon of potential, guiding you to embrace the evolution of your soul with grace and courage. As the stars emerge, twinkling softly in the darkening sky, another potent force becomes palpable, the energy of Mercury retrograde. When the blanket of night begins to unfold, casting a surreal glow on everything beneath, a powerful energy infuses the atmosphere, the energy of Mercury retrograde. This energy, at times feared and often misunderstood, holds an inherent dynamism that can be harnessed for the individual's self-development and growth. A period wrapped in mystery and apprehension, Mercury retrograde is seen by many as a time of chaos and confusion, a time when technology fails, communication breakdowns, and life seems to go awry. However, those who delve deeper, who dare to challenge the conventional understanding, may unearth a treasure trove of wisdom that this period offers. The energy of Mercury retrograde is not simply a force of chaos, but rather a catalyst for contemplation and introspection. It is a cosmic invitation to turn inwards, to delve into the recesses of your consciousness, to reflect upon the path you have trodden. Mercury retrograde is a time for revisiting past actions, a chance to confront unresolved issues, a window to mend broken bridges, and an opportunity to realign with your deepest intentions. It is a period of retrospection and introspection, providing clarity and direction on your journey. Picture the energy of Mercury retrograde as a silver thread, intricately woven into the golden tapestry of the universe's energy. Just as a silversmith hammers and shapes a piece of silver into a beautiful ornament, the energy of Mercury retrograde molds and shapes your experiences, honing them into lessons of wisdom. The combination of cosmic energies during this period encourages introspection and adjustment. It is like a celestial mirror reflecting your innermost self, revealing the areas of your life that demand your attention and adjustment. Absorb this energy Feel it rejuvenate every part of your being, physical, mental, and spiritual. With each breath you draw, with each moment that passes, you become more in tune with yourself, more aligned with your essence. It strengthens your resolve, fortifies your spirit, and prepares you for the transformations that lie ahead. Each inhalation, each exhalation, is an affirmation of your journey, a testament to your resilience, and a harbinger of the growth that awaits you. Permit yourself to bask in this combined energy, absorbing its essence, and allowing it to invigorate every facet of your existence. Embrace the wisdom of the universe, the lessons of the stars, the teachings of Mercury retrograde. With each inhalation, you're more empowered, aligned with your true essence, and receptive to the transformations that lie ahead. Visualize this energy as a lantern, illuminating your path with clear, pristine light, casting a glow that beautifully reveals opportunities for growth and understanding. It is this light that provides clarity, unfurls the path before you, and brings into focus the myriad of possibilities that lay ahead. In the serene silence of introspection, it highlights the beauty inherent in the process of becoming, the transformative power contained within the act of pausing, and the profound wisdom that stems from thoughtful reflection. Each flicker of this spiritual lantern represents a stage in your journey, a journey filled with powerful lessons and enlightening experiences, all waiting to be discovered and explored. Subsequently, Take a moment and let the gentle winds of awareness guide you back to the present moment. 
feel the supportive embrace of the beneath you, grounding your essence in its nurturing energy. This earth is not just a silent observer, but a gentle companion, providing solace during your voyage of self-discovery. Gradually, bring your attention back to the physical realm, starting with your extremities. Feel the slight tingling sensation as you move your fingers and toes, re-establishing the connection with your body. This reconnection is not just a physical awakening, but a conscious merging of your spiritual and physical self. With each movement, let the energy flow through you, reigniting the spark of life within. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. Let the world around you come into focus, allowing the clarity attained through introspection to color your perception. This clarity is not temporary, but a constant companion, guiding you in every aspect of your life. Carry the calm and tranquility of your inner sanctuary into your daily life, an oasis in the chaos that seeks to enhance your interactions and experiences. This calm is not just the absence of turmoil, it is the presence of serenity. It is the peace that you carry within, a peace that is both empowering and liberating. Remember, this journey you're on, supported by the unseen yet palpable energies of the universe, is unique and full of potential. There's a harmonious symphony playing within the cosmos, and you are a significant part of it. Your journey is not a predetermined path, but a living, evolving entity, every twist and turn making your story more compelling. Always remember, every step taken with intention and openness to the guidance of the universe is a step toward fulfillment and understanding. No journey is without its challenges, but each challenge faced with courage and resilience brings us closer to our true self. Every action, every thought, takes us one step closer to the fulfillment of our desires and the comprehension of our existence. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow from 1 to 3 Eastern Standard Time to Rochester Free Radio, WRFZ 106.3, rochesterfreeradio.com to hear all about autism. It is Autism Awareness slash Autism Acceptance Month. So we definitely want to make sure that everybody understands what neurodivergency is and how to make that work for you. So meanwhile... I will see you guys again on Friday. Merry meet. Merry part. Until we merry meet again. Blessed be you guys.